What's going on guys? Welcome back to What Cheers. I'm Nick as always. Today we're going to take a look at the Curiosity 18. This is the latest in the experimental hop series from Treehouse in which they take different hops, mash them together, see what happens, different kind of malt combinations. Um, and this is the one that they brewed for the 4th of July. Uh, it's just a couple days after that now. So it's super fresh. They did can this one and have it available in growlers. And I have not had this yet. Um, there, the hop combination this one was not information that was given out. Although Nate said that it was sort of a mix between Curiosity 15 and 16. Now 15 I thought was a little too dank. 16 was phenomenal. It had a great balance between dank and uh, bright sort of citrusy and tropical notes. So I'm really curious to see what this one's all about. Um, this is a double IPA actually as opposed to C15 and 16 which were singles. So it comes in at 8% and that's pretty much it guys. There's nothing else to say. Uh, the label artwork on this one is amazing. Uh, I think he got some help from somebody on this one I read somewhere. I'm not sure who but uh, yeah awesome artwork on these Curiosity cans and uh, we just reviewed Curiosity 16 and, well, we, my dad's here tasting these with me today. We just had uh, Curiosity 16, then Curiosity 17, which was mind-blowing, so I'm really curious to see how this one will be. Um, let's get it cracked open, guys, and I'll let you know what it's all about. All right, guys, we got the Curiosity 18 poured out. Let's take a look here. Head's dissipating pretty quickly. Definitely was about a two-finger head, uh, just slightly off-white. Wow. Look at that lacing, again, just sticking to the side of the glass. Beautiful lacing. This one's pretty much all tightly packed bubbles. Uh, yeah, great looking beer uh, as far as the head there. Appearance wise, the color, yeah, it is a definitely a deep kind of medium orange, kind of hazy. It looks like it's darker in the middle than it is on the sides, which is really crazy. Um, yeah, just a deep sort of golden honey orange color to this one. Definitely hazy. You can't see anything through this. Away from the light, it looks like a medium sort of hazy orange color, honey color. But uh, typical treehouse haze to it. I mean, you just it looks like a big sort of thick beer for a double IPA. So guys, let's get an aroma on the Curiosity 18. Wow, yeah, really, really uh, nice. It smells like it's got like honey, tropical fruits, some almost like a, yeah, it's pungent. It's got almost like a peppery character to it. Super pungent tropical fruits though, citrus. Not as explosive as the Galaxy and Mosaic C17, which I just had, um, which is kind of fun to be able to try these in a row, uh, but this is smelling incredible too. It doesn't smell too much on the dank side, as, as they said it was a, a mix between C15 and C16. It doesn't smell too dank to me. There's a somewhat of a dank character in the back end, but it's mainly that super bright fresh flesh of like uh, flesh of tropical fruits and citrus fruits pineapple orange um, mango peaches grapefruit it's sweet it's intensely hopped um, it's very aromatic it's a little cold still so it may open up too as we get into this but yeah guys and it smells amazing for another Curiosity beer. Let's get a sip on this, guys. Cheers. Wow. Again, another juice hot bomb from Treehouse. There's nobody in the country, probably not in the world, that's making beers this juicy, this hoppy. I've been saying it forever. I mean, if I wasn't the first one to be talking about Treehouse on YouTube for beer reviews, I don't know who it was. But I've been preaching this forever. Nobody makes juicy, hoppy beers like Treehouse. It is just absolutely mind blowing. So 
super big blast of juicy, juicy tropical fruits up front. What's amazing about this beer is exactly what Nate described it as, which is, which was that it's, it's soft and sort of gentler than a, a typical double IPA, even from them. It's just so soft and smooth that it is really, uh, it's really sneaky. It's really easy drinking. It just kind of, it, it hides what it really is, and which is an 8% double IPA. I would say you could drink this and think maybe, maybe a 6%, 6.5% beer, that's it. It's really, really great with the hop character. It's got great sweetness, almost a honey sweetness to this one. Pineapple juice. Wow. No bitterness again either. Just like all the other tree beers. No bitterness. Just an amazing like residual hop and like juice, pineapple juice kind of flavor on your tongue. Definitely some biting hops, residual flavor lingering on your tongue, but this is one of the most drinkable 8% beers I've ever had, especially for Treehouse. Uh, even the, the Curiosity 17 we just had was a little bit more like intense and in your face for a double IPA. Uh, bigger mouthfeel to it too. This one is definitely more like, it's super juicy, it's super hoppy, it's got everything you expect from a Treehouse Double IPA, but it's so damn drinkable. It really drinks like six, six and a half percent, um, but it's packed with so much flavor. I mean, it's somewhat drying on the palate, so you're ready for another sip pretty much immediately. Man, unbelievable stuff. Yeah, this is almost crushable for an 8% double IPA. It's juicy, juicy, juicy. All right, guys, I'm going to let this warm up for a few more minutes. It's getting there to a good temperature. Um, and I'll let you guys know what my final thoughts and score are on the Curiosity 18. But again, another amazing treehouse beer. All right, guys, so we've been sipping on the Curiosity 18 here for a little bit now. And what a tasting this has been today. If you guys have seen my other two reviews, I did uh, Curiosity 17 before this and then Curiosity 16 before that. Um, you know, this is just another home run uh, from Treehouse. They went for a double IPA that was super juicy, super hop saturated, but also very, very like smooth and drinkable and soft on the palate, which this beer is very soft. It's so soft that it just glides over your tongue. It just glides. It's, it's incredible. It's like a session beer for 8%. It's just silly. The, it, the, the bubbles in this are so tightly packed that it just makes the beer that much creamier, that much smoother. Um, it's an absolute tropical citrus hot bomb. Just really bright, very juicy. Um, it's just sort of like taking all the wonderful, wonderful elements of Treehouse hoppy beers where they're super juicy and hoppy and then just putting in a double IPA that's not super aggressive it's just really approachable and and just again it's it's soft it's it's and Nate said it in the description it's supremely drinkable I mean it really is almost like sessioning this 8% beer which is it, it's like crushable it's crazy so guys on Beer Advocate, this has a 93, I want to say, overall. But that's only, yeah, there's a, it's 11 ratings so far at the time we're reviewing this. It just came out a couple days ago, so. It's still a 4.59 on Beer Advocate, which is like 100. Um, so I'm going to go, definitely not 93. Um, this is going to go up to a 99 for me. I gave Curiosity 16 98. I gave Curiosity 17 100. And I'm gonna give this a, a 99. Curiosity 18 is fantastic. It's exactly as it described. It's exactly what Nate was going for. A double IPA that it has all the elements of all the things you love about Treehouse Hoppy beers, but packaged in a beer that is extremely drinkable and smooth and just soft. Um, and they nailed it. So, yeah, I'm so glad I got a few cans of this. Uh, just fantastic stuff guys juicy hoppy easy to drink incredible 
So 99 for me on the Curiosity 18. Let me know what you guys think of this beer if you got some cans of it or growlers, they were doing both. Um, and I would love to hear your thoughts. So until next time, remember to comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next beer review, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.